Good evening. With the time I have today, I'd like to discuss one of the most important uh, aspects of the fundamentalist modernist controversy. Now, when you look at the fundamentalist modernist controversy, there is one name that very sharply stands out through throughout these years, and that is the name of J. Gresham Machen. Machen. Machen was born in 1881 in Baltimore, and just as he grew up, you know, through his formative years, you can just kind of see um, that, you know, religion was an important aspect of his life. He was taught uh, th theology and biblical truths from his mother as he was growing up, and he attended some of the finest schools um, during his more formative and teen years as well. This culminated when he decided to study theology at Princeton in 1902. And by 1906, Machen was a professor of religion at Princeton University. And this is where his career really begins to take off, and you see his rise kind of to the leader of fundamentalism, of the fundamentalist movement. In 1913, before this controversy really started to already, you know, take a huge turn in the country, Machen already wrote of the dangers surrounding liberalism in a very compelling review uh, called Christianity and Culture, which was published in the Princeton Theological Review in 1913 and was also in our reading for this week. And in this, he really summed up um, and showed that correct doctrine was the only way to adhere to Christianity and the only way Christianity would stand through those times. And um, considering these times that they were in, adhering on correct doctrine of the fundamentalist movement that he learned from such famous names as B.B. Warfield and others at Princeton University, um, this foundation, especially in the Presbyterian Church, really led the way and paved the way for him to rise to the top as the leader of the fundamentalist movement. Now, uh, just in his career as a teacher, Machen was already growing fame and um, getting his name out there. As in 1917, his name was cleared down in the Southern Presbytery Review in Atlanta, Georgia, showing already how his name was getting spread out there on the fundamentalist movement. And by 1923, when he published his famous work, Christianity and Liberalism, that propelled him to the head of the fundamentalist, liber fundamentalist modernist controversy. Now, again, his stanch and his unwavering on the correct doctrine, on hearing the, the strict interpretation of God's word on a conservative view during this time made him the stalwart leader of the fundamentalist movement and even got him into trouble with his own church as he was eventually removed from Princeton and removed from the Presbyterian Church as Princeton and the Presbyterian Church began to embrace more liberal liberalist tendencies and did not appreciate Machen's views. As a result, this uh, created the opportunity for Machen to create Westminster Theological Seminary and also the OPC, the Orthodox Presbyterian Church, that are both staunch supports of conservatism today and show its roots back to that time where Machen, in his strict adherence to correct doctrine, uh, opened the door for those to be created. Now, throughout the rest of his life, even throughout the 1920s, clear through, as even in 1978, uh, 40 years after his premature death in 1937, the Baltimore Sun uh, stated that J. Gresham Machen was the greatest theologian in the English-speaking world for his efforts at trying to keep the church conservative throughout the liberalist movement. And many conservative Christians and denominations today can thank J. Gresham Machen for his staunch efforts at staying conservative and his unwavering movement on correct doctrine throughout the 1920s and the 19-teens.